Hey you guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, and Networking Like a Pro, and today we are talking about the three phases of branding your coaching practice online. Now, if you haven't had a chance to take out the first video, I would highly recommend that you check it out. We talked about the first phase being credibility and setting the foundation, the second phase being your platform and blogging and content and being a person that people can respect and see as an expert. The third phase is where things really get fun. You get to use it as a vehicle for generating more business. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means is you have, obviously as a coach, you should have services. So that might be a services page on different uh, topics and, and subjects that you talk about as a coach. If you do some speaking, it should have some different topics and again, areas that you talk about. Um, if you have a book, maybe right? Maybe you have a book or you have a CD or you have some type of coaching program that people can plug into. Um, maybe you have a boot camp. We've got boot camps, audio boot camps all over the place. These should all be on your website. See, one of the mistakes I think a lot of coaches make is they look at their website as this kind of like online brochure, right? Where it's just a static thing that people can just take a look at and maybe it works and maybe it doesn't. And, and that's not what I personally talk about okay it should be a foundation yes then it should be a, it should be something where you can have as a platform again but ultimately we're trying to get to more business so you can also I'll tell you what you can also do you can have um, you can have something where you are being able to have video testimonials from people right people who have done work with you testimonials from that all of this leads to them connecting, them wanting to work with you. Maybe they can do a shout out on social media, right? So on your page, it also has places where they can go to Facebook and LinkedIn and Twitter and all of that good stuff. This is what I mean. Once you've got people coming to a website, then you need to use it as a vehicle for generating more business. And that, my friend, is how you're able to brand your coaching practice online. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that's something that you can see yourself using. Um, if you'd like to take a deeper dive, by all means, swing on by our blog, which is practicebuilderblog.com. All right, that's www.practicebuilderblog.com, and you can take a deeper dive, no problem. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thank you for your time.